Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm judging by the, the reaction of everyone after that. That was pretty big. Yeah, it was a big win um, after the defeat against Liverpool by the performance that we had. Obviously, we wanted to come here and and play well first, which which we did, and, and get the three points uh, because we want to keep the momentum going. And I think the team showed today uh, a lot of personality to come and play uh, the way we played, the way we dominated the game, and um, and to come away with, with a win at the end. Yeah, I, I told you that we will be ready, though. I can complain or I can say what I think uh, is fair or, or not, but uh, I will tell you that we will be ready. Yeah. You've spent most of your coaching career managing behind closed doors and crowds. <laughs> must feel strange. Can you talk to me about what it feels like to have the whole away end chanting your name like they were? Well, that's what it gives. Uh, probably sense to everything that we do. And you realize it on those moments that those people have big emotions towards the club. And if we can make them happy, uh, then everything just makes sense. And, uh, and the connection that they show with, with the players and uh, with me as well, is we have to be very grateful because they have come along in this journey. And, and I think they believe in what we do. And how does it feel for you on a, on a personal Personally, great, because we've been through a lot. And as you said, obviously, we played almost two years without crowds. And to build something that, in my opinion, was um, the most important thing, that it's, it was unity around the club and a sense of a direction and belonging, uh, they were going to be really important. And they give us belief and, and energy. Thank you. On, on the fixture congestion this week, should appreciate what you've said about it. One or two other managers had some comments yesterday. Do you agree with what you said? I give my opinion. I never comment in another manager's comment. I give my opinion. That we have 10 games to go, and what we did yesterday or today, now it's um, is not relevant. It's what we're going to do tomorrow, how we're going to prepare, and, and how we're going to improve the team and, and play better to win, to win more games, and especially more comfortably, because when you are so dominant like we were today, you have to score the second and the third one, and uh, we are not yet. Yeah, but he was really fatigued as well as the Liverpool. He had uh, an issue in his hip. Uh, he's played a lot of minutes, and uh, you could tell. And we don't want to to risk. He needs to go with England now, and uh, we decided the best thing to do was to take him off. So, so he, he, is going he should be fine, I think. Yeah. And um, just what, worried about his performance, and maybe Thomas Partey's performance as well. I, mean. I think in general the team were really, really good. Um, we had. Thomas, when we talked about consistency and the level, I think we are having two in the last three games in six days that he hasn't done for a while since he's been here. I think he played at his level, at his best level for three consecutive games, and that's for the team a big, big boost. Thank you, Carl. Um, right at the end, we saw Nicholas Jonga sprint down the touch line to almost shout instructions for the free kick. I was just wondering, does that show how important you guys find set pieces this year? I think anybody can help in anything from my staff, just do it. You know, if he's throwing a bottle of water or, or cleaning somebody's shoes or giving an instruction, they are free to do it if, if they think they can, they can help the team. And with the margin so tight in these sorts of games, how much of a difference does that, those small things? Make? Well, they are a big part of the game, obviously, and the Premier League especially. And uh, you can see that the top teams score a lot of goals and set pieces. Uh, but then they score another one or two, and nobody talks about it. But they made a difference there. And you see in Champions League, you see a lot of times what is happening. And is you have to dominate every part of the game. The football is coming quicker and more complicated. And everybody is really good. And they have a good knowledge. And um, and you have to find advantages where you can. Yeah, and um, you guys still haven't conceded from a corner this year. Don't talk about it. <laughs> 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 um, I, I was just going to ask what determines whether man mark or zone mark, because I've seen you've mixed it up quite mm. Well, every game plan is different in relation to what the opponent do and what we expect, and, and then fit whatever we want to do in terms of the quality of the of the personnel that we have on the day, and and that's it, and keep doing it. Uh, Mikel, Mik Mik just on, um, on Bakaya Saka, he said after the match to BT that he was, he was chatting to the referee about maybe getting some more support from, from the referees being kicked a lot. 
Is that something that you go along with? Well, it's, uh, he probably giving what he felt on the pitch, you know, and um, I think the referees are there and they try to do their best. And we have to listen to the players. They are, they are the reason why we are all here. And just a word on Aaron Ramsdale as well, the nature of, of how he picked up the injury and I guess a setback given how brilliant his form has been for you this year. Yes, but uh, he wasn't constant in the last 50, 60 minutes against Liverpool, and uh, we scanned him, and he had uh, a proper injury in his in his source muscle. He wanted to be here uh, straight away. The moment he realized that he could not play and Ben was going to play, he wanted to be here to support Ben, which it tells you as well um, a lot of the things that are happening behind the scenes. Is he out of the, will he come out of the England squad? Yeah, he won't be able to play for England. Yeah. Couple, last couple. And Mikael, you won a lot of people over. We remember at the start of the season there were a lot of detractors, and now they're all jumping on the band uh, wagon. Does that make you proud, or how yeah. did you deal with the difficulties? They can, they, they can jump. They can jump. <laughs> we, the more people we have on board, the better. It's normal. This club and its history and tradition is to win all the time. That's the only thing that uh, is acceptable. And uh, when you are sitting here or playing, you have to accept that. You look unflappable back then, like very strong. How do you feel now about the height? Everything is looking much, much when we are there, I just look how can we get better because very quickly things uh, things can change in football because the margins are so small. So just look and be humble and, and look how can we improve because we have a lot of things to do much better. But Kel, just on that um, uh, the issue of uh, Saka asking for more protection, what do you think of the Tyrone Mings tackle on I haven't seen it um, on on video. My impression in in the game with the reaction that the players had uh, that they have to review and VAR, they said that they reviewed. So done. Because he came off with that particular injury, didn't he? He said he's got a, a bloody leg. Yes, but the decision was made. We cannot change it now. Last one. Mikhail, will Gabby be able to join up with the Brazil squad? Uh, it's a question for him <laughs> um, because. Obviously, he has a personal thing happening, and um, in the next few hours, he will know whether he can do that or not. We were told it was illness. Is it? Martinelli. Ah. Martinelli. Sorry. <laughs> and yet, yet, sorry. The, the uh, hopefully, hopefully, yes. Uh, and he was gutted not to be able to, to play today because he traveled. He wanted to travel away with the team. But uh, yeah, he really deserves that. So hopefully, he can, he can travel tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Yes.